David Bergren. He's a 13-year-old uh, national champion from Polk City, Iowa. Uh, David, how you doing today? I'm good. How's the How's the Iowa game tournament been going? Pretty good. Good deal. Um, so I want to ask you some questions about racquetball. You just came back from the national racquetball event, the junior uh, junior nationals um, in Denver, and so I want to kind of hear about those stories and talk about racquetball and your life and um, stuff like that. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. So how long have you been playing racquetball? Well, I started when I was five, but I only really got serious in college. Okay. So you you've been playing like eight years, but for the last couple of years, have you been doing some training then? Yeah. And what sort of training do you do? Lenchuk. Yeah. <laughs> and some other people. Ronda Rat Ratchets. Yeah. Rad yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um and then I work with Don, my coach. Okay. Uh yeah, that's about it. Cool. Um so you you did that program with Jim. Was that was that did you do that with some other Iowa uh, Iowa juniors? Was that part of like the scholarship program? Yeah, we got scholarships after him. So did, uh, do you think that has improved your game, working with Jim? I mean, I, you, I know that he's been in town a couple different times to watch some of our tournaments, and then um, I'm sure you get feedback, like, over the Internet or talking to him on the phone or something. Is that? Yeah, it's been working pretty good. Cool. What, is there anything in particular that he's kind of worked on with you that's improved your game? Probably my grip okay. and my racket and how I kind of figure out where the ball is. Okay. Sort of thing, watching the ball at all times. Cool. Um, how'd you get introduced to, to racquetball? Um, my dad started playing. Okay. And then I guess I just kind of followed him. That's awesome. So he got you involved. That's yeah. cool. Uh, do you play any other sports? Oh yeah, I play soccer, football, and basketball. Wow, you stay busy. Yes. That's cool. And you're uh, you're going to uh, what school do you do you attend? Uh, North Polk. North Polk, and that's uh, is that the high school? Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Cool. Uh, some of your favorite racquetball players. So you you travel around to some tournaments and watch some of the pros. Who would you say are maybe you know two or three of your favorites? Croft. And ben Croft. Rojas. Okay, and those are like two like divers and really high intense guys. Is that kind of like why you like watching them because they're always on the board, and yeah. always giving it their all. Yeah, those, those are two fun guys to watch. Um, all right, so you just got back from the junior nationals. You had a really successful uh, successful run. You were in the 12 and under uh, singles, and then you were in, was it 12 and under doubles? Yes. Okay, and then you guys got third place in your doubles, right? Yeah. Now, who was your doubles partner? Uh, Bryce Macko, he's from Mississippi. Okay, now how did you get partnered up with Bryce? Did you, had you ever met him before? No, I hadn't ever met him. My dad, uh, he was looking for a partner, and I was looking for a partner, obviously. Cool. You guys got matched up. That's awesome. And you guys, sounds like you had a pretty good run to get third place. And then in the 12 and under, you did really well, where you ended up winning uh, the 12 and under white uh, gold, so yeah. like national championship, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so tell me about tell me about the 12 and under singles. Like, uh, how difficult was it? Well, I don't really like that singles that much. Okay. But um, the first two games, I played Nathan Folletter, and I lost okay. to him. And then I played his doubles partner Cole Hart. Oh, okay. And I lost to him. Then you drop down to the white division and how that works. And then you went, you, so you had to win two, two games to uh, end up taking the gold in the white division. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, what did you What did you learn from the junior nationals event? Um, I guess I kind of learned that I shouldn't take it so seriously. Okay. Not getting mad all the time. And yeah, I know that racquetball is um, such a mental game that if you let it if you let it affect you up here, then you're not gonna you're not going to play as good you know, physically. Yeah, physically, yep. And that's probably something that I'm sure Jim Winterton probably, as he was watching your coaching, he probably told you the same, the same type of thing. Um, and, yeah, in the racquetball court, we all kind of get carried away in the moment sometimes and let our emotions get the best of us. But, yeah, I mean, we're all we're all here just to have fun and get some exercise and meet new people, and, uh, which is pretty – that's what's pretty cool about the Junior Nationals event is you got to play guys that you've probably never, ever played before, right? Well, I've met a few of them. Okay. Now, did you play in the, the Nationals event that was hosted in Des Moines last year? Yeah, I got second in the division. Nice, nice. And is that 12 and under also? Uh, that was 12 and under. Cool. Um, so what was the what was the difference between the 2013 event and then uh, the event you just went to? Um, well, it was a lot of difference because of the altitude. Okay. The ball bounced a lot faster off the basketball. Okay. And then I guess it was just a little easier for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just more experience, and yeah. you had the winter team camp. Um, did you get to practice 
was like maybe the highlight of the tournament? Like, what was the, what was the best thing about the tournament? Well, I guess it was just a lot of fun. the rest of the, the Iowa games. All right, bud? All right. All right.